I was, I was just point out sort of the differences first, and then I'll point out what we've got in common with this kind of event and social media. And this is probably the part that, that trips people up the most. It's many to many. Uh, it's a combination of broadcast and, and conversation. Uh, I used to work in radio, and I've got a radio voice that I can put on. <laughs> but if I talk to you in that voice in a conversation, you probably think I'm a bit crazy. Um, and yet, that's the thing that businesses of all shapes and sizes are really struggling with. You know, they, they're used to putting on the sales message, please come and buy from us, and, and in a conversation that just sort of falls flat. But then again, you've got the, the intimate one-to-one -one conversation. That's the kind of thing that people actually want to see. Um, so um, it, what we do is actually come alongside businesses and we help them have that kind of conversation. And the weird thing is it's completely in public. So it's, it's, like, it's like us having a conversation, uh, just the two of us, but you all are completely a part of that conversation. You're able to interject at any time, it, that sort of thing. And you don't have the limitations of hearing and, and uh, being a, a long way away. Um, that's probably the biggest thing that's different about social media compared to what, you know, compared to what we're doing right now. What's the same? The same thing is, is that it's, it's networking. And, and again, because social media sort of evolved out of things like search engine optimization and uh, internet marketing, people tend to think in, think in those sort of terms that it's all about the numbers, it's all about getting hits to your website and that sort of thing. Ultimately, it's about relationships. It's about you know getting to know somebody, building rapport, getting trust. And there's one ingredient in that that's the same whether it's online or offline. It's time. It takes time to build a relationship. It, it, it takes um, it takes a couple of things as well. It takes you to be interested. Um, so if anyone's been in love, you remember when you first met that person? You were so curious about that person. You wanted to know everything about what they were doing. You were thinking about, I wonder where they are now. It's a little bit like that, have being successful in social media. It's just turning on the curiosity and thinking, if somebody has taken the time to comment on my Facebook profile or whatever, if there's a potential that I could be doing business with them, it's, it's time to get curious. It's time to start. You know, and, and the great thing about social media, it's very stalker friendly. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if you're on Twitter, for example, and somebody replies to you, you can click through and, and you can see their profile. You can see what they've written about themselves. You can look at their website. Basically, you can start a relationship. And of course, this is what we hear a lot. What about the randoms? Well, that's cool. Randoms happen. Sometimes people randomly add you and you don't know why. You don't know what their intentions are. Um, and sometimes, you know, in a very small amount of cases, they may be people who are out to get you. But more often, the great majority of cases, it's people who are actually, they could be really helpful to you. For instance, we're going to be presenting a workshop in Shanghai next month in China. It's our first time there. And so I remember that somebody random from China added me on Skype about three years ago. And you know how on Skype it says, so-and-so came online, so-and-so went offline. So I would see this name all the time. And then I thought, I'm going to talk to that person. I'm going to start a conversation. And so now I've been learning about what China is like from the inside because of this random person who added me three years ago. Um, so there's a lot of serendipity that can happen. I mean, serendipity, you know, stuff happening by random chance, it, it happens all the time, but it's, it's, you're just increasing your chances of good stuff happening with, with social media and by turning on the curiosity. So being interested is, is a very important part. The second part is to be interesting. So um, what we help clients is to find the fascinating because um, I mean, insurance. <laughs> we started with one of the hardest industries to find anything interesting Aww. with. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> but, Too late. Too late. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, uh, first of all, um, Brave Day has, has a great approach to insurance. That's, that's an excellent start. A strong brand is always a strong brand, whether it's offline or online. Um, but what we helped them do was actually find out what does that look like in action? Because social media is also like a, an ad or a billboard. It's all about just the idea, just the concept. Social media is about putting into action, like seeing what does that look like uh, on a video? What does that look like in a blog post? What sort of subjects uh, are you covering? Um, so it's, I guess if you remember only two things out of this, is one, be interested in the people that you come across. You know, pursue them. Remember what it's like to be in love. And, and then secondly, be interesting. Find it fascinating what you do. And then I was going over this with Marie on, on the way over here, and she said, okay, what about some practical tips? Okay, yeah, that's a good idea, practical tips. Um, so uh, you can see what the practical one is. <laughs> so number one, if you're not already, get on Twitter. Um, it, it's, it's, a it's a real, it's one of the easiest 
parts of social media to get into because you don't have to add someone as a friend and then they have to choose, do I want to add this person? You can start following people, which just is like subscribing to them. Um, so, so Twitter is a pretty easy way to get started. And uh, I mean, network among yourselves and find out who's on Twitter and, and follow them. It's, it's really good if you've already met somebody. It, it, it just gets you over that first hurdle. So get on Twitter and follow the people that you meet tonight. Um, number two, fill out your LinkedIn profile. So who's on LinkedIn here? <laughs> two hands. <laughs> Um, so it, it, there's a lot of people I meet who are on LinkedIn, but they kind of like, I got dragged into it. I don't know what to do with it. Um, so LinkedIn is a great way to actually be found. Um, you have the one thing, have your photo there, because when people meet you, they, they see your face. Have a description of what you do. Have a bit of a career history, because if you're going to work with somebody, you, you want to know about them. A and LinkedIn profile that's well filled out would be a really good way of, of you know knowing who that person is, what they do. That's number two, fill out your LinkedIn profile. And then number three, we well, have already done that, is checking out tweet ups and events like this. There's nothing like actually shaking someone's hand, making eye contact, and talking. So, um, yeah, thanks very much, guys. I'm going to stop before it rains. How do you get involved? How do you make a word for a, for a business sense? Yeah. Um, one good way of thinking of it is what, what do you already do networking wise that isn't really giving you a good return on your time? Um, for instance, you're coming out to um, networking events, expos, advertising, that sort of thing. So, have a bit of an assessment of what's taking up your time that could actually be more efficient um, with social media. So you're just finding somebody and find them? Yeah, that, that's right, yeah. And, and sometimes, it, I mean, another misconception that people have is that there's social media people and there's, there's the normal people. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of crossover. I mean, you, you probably meet a lot of people. Actually, that's another good habit to get into. When you meet somebody and they hand them your card, ask them, you know, do you mind if I add you on LinkedIn? Because um, a really well filled out LinkedIn profile often has a, t you know, a link to their Twitter account, so you find out if they're on Twitter. So it'll be a good sort of gateway into finding are they connected in these other ways. So, so is social media used as a yeah, sales yeah. tool yet, or more just a um, conversation piece for a business? Both. I mean, yeah. sales come from conversation, so uh, yeah, a absolutely. I mean, with things like LinkedIn and, and Twitter, actually, you can use it as a very targeted sales tool to find people who are interested in the, the things that you're about. But a lot of it comes from the, the, the relationship that you've already built up or the reputation you've built up. Um, a lot of people ask me how I get work, you know, how I get recognition, and it's just been through persistence and putting my thoughts out there and being known as, as a thought leader in the field. So I guess the answer is both. <laughs> Yeah. And how long have you been on Twitter yourself? Um, I was on Twitter since 2007, so um, yeah, time in the game really, really helps. Yeah. Yeah.